Welcome to Informatica support video. My name is Suraj and today in this presentation I will demonstrate how to find the cost of invalid data. Agenda of the presentation is need of invalid data cost, how to find cost of invalid data example and followed by demo. Need of invalid data cost. A measure of data quality in source data is critical information in the management of data assets in the organization. The data cost of invalid data helps organization to derive value in monitoring data quality of that data source. As a data analyst, you might want to associate a value such as currency unit or custom unit to metric or metric group to find the total cost of invalid data in the data source. You can define the cost unit for metric based on business requirement. You can also configure a variable or fixed cost for each metric when you create a scorecard or edit it. So basically there are two types of uh, data cost. It could be fixed cost or variable cost. So fixed cost is a constant value that you can assign to metric in a scorecard. You can choose a predefined cost unit or custom cost unit that meets your business requirement. Variable data cost. Variable data cost is a value that you assign to matrix based on value in numeric column of that data source. A data integration service calculates the variable cost for the metric based on the column or virtual column that you assign to the cost. How to find the cost of invalid data? Basically, we use scorecard for calculating the cost of invalid data. Scorecard is nothing but a graphical representation of valid values for a column or output of a rule in profile result. We use scorecard to measure data quality progress. You can create scorecard from profile and monitor the progress of data quality over the time. Scorecard helps organization to measure the value of data by tracking the cost of bad data and scorecard level. To measure the cost of bad data for each matrix, we assign a cost unit to metric and set a fixed or variable cost. When you run a scorecard, a scorecard results include cost of bad data for each metric and total cost value for all the metrics. To track data quality effectively, you can use scorecard trend chart and cost trend chart. The charts monitor how scorecard and cost of bad data change over the period of time. Or we know that profiling warehouse stores the scorecard statistics and configuration information. I would like to discuss few examples with you. So. Uh, uh, let's say business user needs to in, uh, evaluate data quality in, uh, in terms of the understand such as dollars or cent or rupees or euros or pound. 10 invalid data doesn't convey the message that these 10 records, th these 10 bad records cost the business dollars 500. Or an organization which has customers wrong address cannot deliver the courier to the customer will have to bear the delivery charges. The charges could be variable based on the shipping address. I will try to demonstrate in the demo part how to create and how to create a scorecard and find the cost of invalid data. So first of all, I have a data object which contains all the information about the con uh, customers and in this uh, I have one of the columns name uh, state. So in state column I see few of the columns are uh, few of the um, fields are null. Uh, no values has been specified in this so what uh, uh, I will do is I will uh, profile I will create a profile on the top of this column and then we will try to create a scorecard so for this we'll go here As I am interested to profile only uh, one column that is state, so I will uncheck all the remaining column here. As I am planning to apply a rule uh, on this profile, so I will uh, save it. 
so I'm planning to apply a rule uh, for this profile so I have already created a rule which will uh, return n if state is not specified or it is null it will return y if it is uh, if value is present there I am selecting this rule I am selecting this column here okay now I am good to run this profile so I am running it so I have a result of the profile run so here I am interested in the uh, profile rule result which I just have applied on the top of profile so I can see that 111 null values are present in this particular state column so I will create a scorecard first of all we will see how to find the cost using fixed value this column has been selected already you can modify all the metric uh, threshold here this is the valid values that I am assigning uh, to valid values panel let's say fixed cost is one dot one dollar you can change cost unit as well presently we have dollar or pound euro or n based on the business requirement you can uh, select any one of these or you can specify your custom unit as well so I'm selecting a dollar here and I'm running the scorecard so we have the result of scorecard run and uh, we could see that the the values in the column are accept acceptable but still it will it will cost the business 122.1 dot one dollar uh, as few of the column values are null so this is the result when we apply the fixed cost so uh, what if the uh, if we apply the variable cost uh, while calculating the bad data cost for this for this particular column so we will create another uh, scorecard from this uh, uh, profile result so here one requirement is you need to associate you need to have a associated cost column in 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 that data source I'm giving this name column has been selected already here we will select the variable cost then we need to select a column which has associated cost so I have this column which has all the cost associated with particular state column so for each row different cost I have specified running the scorecard now after selecting this so when you uh, by the time it runs uh, I like to add here when you uh, select a particular column as a variable cost column 
data type of this column must be numeric or number or else it will not be accepted it will show you it will prompt an error uh, after selecting this column so here we have a, a result of scorecard run where we applied a variable cost and uh, we will see the cost of invalid data is exact hundred dollars so uh, how it got calculated so each invalid record will have a cost as each value in this particular column will have a cost associated with this and if this data is identified as a bad data then this cost then associated cost will be considered during the calculation of the cost so that's how you can track how uh, bad data will impact your business and uh, you can you can uh, change the score uh, you can use different rules uh, during generation of the profile to uh, create different scorecards and calculate the cost of bad data also you can generate a trend chart from the scorecard and you can see how the uh, cost of bad data is uh, reducing or increasing over the period of time so that's it uh, from the demo session so uh, thank you for watching we would like to hear from you please send in your feedbacks or comment at support videos at informatica.com or you can comment at twitter.com slash info support thank you